Right, and I keep mentioning, this is your show too, and I'm glad that um, we're having overwhelming feedback today, so I'll just sample a number of the questions and comments before we take a look at what's on Twitter. Let's start with our text line. And uh, one says, the teachers should be able to join and leave unions anytime. The validation should be continuous. That is Mwalimu Amboga Yihiga. Uh, teachers should vote in new national officials. The current crop of leaders are a bunch of greedy people who have lost direction. We'll be having you respond to that. Please ask Omboko Milemba why TSC is remitting deductions for Kupet and not doing the same for NAT. Mr. Omboko, I hope you've gotten that question. Uh, Don Vix, a teacher in Homer Bay, says, could you please ask Omboko why Kupet and TSC deduct money from teachers who have not enrolled in their union? That's the same issue that Benta here addressed uh, on Kewata as well. And uh, we're seeing first the TSC has forced the school administrators to leave NAT immediately in order to be given any salary increment. And uh, another one says, Kewata and Kupet are collaborators of the government who are initiated on selfish interest to weaken NAT. That's a share from Narok. You'll be responding to that. Uh, this, this, that's the feedback from the guests. Um, we also have uh, teacher Edward who says TSC is forcing teachers to resign from NAT indirectly by adding salary to NAN members and uh, Kupet members only. That again, Omboko, you, you explained it earlier, but you'll have to clear it up again just for the sake of our panelists. And we finally on our text line before we go to Twitter. Uh, ask on our behalf on the 200 that, okay, you, you addressed that on, on Kewata. Someone says, I left NAT out of my own volition. If someone re-registers me at night, I'd leave early in the morning. Well, uh, you, you can as well tell us your reasons. It would be good to have the viewers understand uh, perhaps your thoughts on this. And uh, finally, um, now that the row between NAT and Kupet is affecting teachers, what has stopped the two teams uh, to officially team up for formidable solutions. Mboko Milemba and uh, uh, Benta uh, Opande, you will as well respond to this. Let's take a look at what uh, they're saying on Twitter uh, before we can uh, have you respond to some of these uh, questions. Let's take a look at what's on Twitter. Do we have any tweets that we can run with at this point? Uh, some of the questions that have been asked uh, by our members. Uh, let's see. Shadrach Mbithi asks, Omboko is not saying the truth about Kupet is only union where membership is compulsory for everyone. I rejected online, but TSC continued to deduct. Uh, to deduct. Akisa, please ask Omboko the fate of diploma teachers in high school promotions. Omboko, the fate of diploma teachers in high school. Um, Let's take a look at another tweet that I saw a bit earlier on, just so we can handle this as a block. And um, I hope we are taking this. Hilda Alex says, even after clicking off, you still find your salary deducted next month. You tried to explain this, but they're saying even after they've clicked this, they still get the deduction. So then, then finally, before we just get into the responses of these questions, Kupet is in bed with those dismantling NAT. Some teachers have been forced into Kupet without requesting to join. Again, Mboko, you'll answer, respond to this. And um, I'm following from Kabarnet, Baringo County. I'm a teacher at Muchukwo Mixed Day and a proud member of Kupet. Kudos, uh, Mboko Milemba, for growing Kupet. And uh, why does TSC force teachers to renounce NAT before they are paid? We asked that question before. And finally... Duncan Kochewa says teachers are going through a lot of issues facing them. That is still far to be dealt with to the satisfaction of the teachers. Now some teachers are being attacked in schools and voices are low. We, are, we handle students during the COVID period with no risk allowance. And um, right, that's just about uh, it. Thank you very much for your comments. We'll be doing a second round if time allows, but let's uh, have them respond to these questions. Mboko Milemba, a lot of questions um, were posed to you, so perhaps uh, start with what happens to diploma teachers in high school. Now, as I begin, I want to talk about what we are doing on uh, not only the diploma teachers, but what has not been finished 
on the previous CBA of 2016-2021. There are certain things that have not been finalized and as a union we have written to the employer to deal with them. Number one are the TVET teachers who were moved from TAC to public service. The TAC uh, had already agreed that this will be getting full CBA just like the other teachers. But unfortunately when they were moved into the public service, they missed out their two phases. I've moved this matter in Parliament and it was already being addressed by both the Minister and uh, the PS in uh, the Ministry of Education. So for me, we are still following the issue of these teachers of Tibet. The other team are the diploma teachers. The diploma teachers originally before the CBA, they were beginning their employment in Job Group J and getting two increments automatically to Job Group K and then Job Group L. But in the new CBA, they missed out on their second increment from K to L. And therefore, what are we doing? We have written to the Commission to deal with that gap so that they actually get the benefit of that job increment. But there's an advantage for them that unlike in the old days when they stayed in L forever and had no chance of going beyond L, they can, through the career progression, go all the way through all the other cadres up to the end. So that's an advantage. So in our new CBA, we are giving them a priority in terms of dealing with their issue of both promotion and their growth. Now, back to some of your questions then, is teachers join, should be able to join the union and leave the union at their own time? That is what's happening and any teacher can leave any time. The new national officials, elections are now on and we have started with the branch elections. We shall move up to national and they are free. We are trying to make them as fair as possible because we are looking, uh, using the labor a ministry and therefore any teacher can vie. Uh, on why TAC is remitting Yes, yes. On why TAC is remitting deductions to Coupet and not NAT, I'd explained this. Uh, I'd explained that uh, we are not getting any TA, any NAT members whom we can get TAC remission from. The only remissions we are getting are from Coupet members and there are about a hundred thousand. I'd explained that very clearly in terms of the fact that about two hundred thousand teachers are KISA are not, on, are not in CUPET and are not in NAT. Another question was deduction of money who have, of teachers who have not been enrolled. I want to associate this with what Madam Benta talked about, urgency fee. Section 49 of the Labor Relations Act says this, that if a union uh, negotiates a, a CBA and the, there are members within that particular sector who are not members of the union but are benefiting then the unions are surcharged them an equivalent charge that is the level of the union dues. So some of the teachers are actually on agency fee. But I want to correct it further and also correct Mam Benta that the agency fee that Coupet is enjoying is of only 5,000 members. In fact, we are now doing elections and only 5,000 members are on agency fee. The rest are full-time members. There was the issue of school administrators leaving NAT. This is what you have been tackling, Akisa. Why did they leave? They were leaving because they wanted to benefit from the CBA, which NAT was running away from the career progression issue to the schemes of service. Mark that, because it will help this discussion continuously. Okay. The other ta uh, question... Finally, I, ho I hope that's the final many. one. We don't have too much them. time. I know, but we don't have too much time, so just respond okay. to the last one. Yeah. Let me leave that... Let me leave that and say that uh, in the new CBA, something that I had not emphasized was the fact that we also are dealing with our teachers with postgraduate qualifications, and we have presented a document in which they'll have favorable terms based on their own qualifications. On medical allowance, where ION has been uh, our main medical cover, we have moved through Parliament to increase the scheme from five billion to nine billion as a union, and now we are going to look into how those nine billions are going to be used so that the teachers benefit properly, including the risk allowance that I talked about earlier. So for us in CUPET, we are now proceeding to move towards the CBA 
that is next. But right. I want to also clear the air that will teachers leave out? This is very important for you, Akisa. The teachers, so say 200,000, they will not uh, miss out because once we sign an agreement or a CBA with the Teacher Service Commission, all the teachers will benefit. Right. Look at 2012 when we signed harmonization. Yes. It affected everybody. Really Look made at your point. 1997 when NAT signed the Adongo uh, thing, everybody benefited. Fair Thank enough. You. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's have Benta respond to some questions that were posed uh, on Kewata. And starting with the whole deduction issue, it seems to be a thorn in the flesh of a lot of female teachers. So then one says, even after they have clicked online that they're leaving, they were still deducted. And of course, then, is there a plan to refund what they have been deducted in previous months? As you respond to the others that I hope you jotted down. Oh, thank you very much, Akisa. Uh, first of all... Um let me uh, tell the teachers who, who say that they cannot leave because, you know, we get surprised <coughs> that every month we get people coming in and people leaving. But if you find that you cannot click yourself out of the system, you are free to write an email to me personally and you go through our website which is www.kewata.co.ke. There's a particular in, in, info email that is directly, that directly comes to my office. And if you write an email to that effect, we shall ensure that we stop any further deduction. That is the only thing that Kewata can do. The rest must be done by the employer. So I sympathize with people who feel that they are in the organization against their wish. We would rather have 10 people who believe in the vision uh, and you know, and, and the goals of the organization, so that we move forward with them. So please feel free to write an email, and we shall stop those further deductions. It should not be that nobody should be forced into an organization which is not of their choice. About refund, yes, we do refund uh, after 30 days. So once you write us an email and you state that you have been uh, deducted illegally uh, against your wish we take 30 days to refund because we are not an income generating organization. Once we get the funds, we use it for activities. So we wait for the next, uh, you know, next commission. Mm -hmm. So feel free to do that. This is an organization which is meant for people and it is voluntary. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I hope I have put the last nail on that <laughs> question <laughs> because hope. it has really been coming yeah. up. Okay. Yeah, and it should not be used, you know, in social media against the organization. Mm. We are really a free and democratic organization. Uh, another question which may be, uh, I think basically that's the question yeah, which was raised for me. Up, but yes. I'd like to say something to take equal time that uh, my brother Amboko has also taken. Mm. That um, as a welfare organization, we care for our members. And today... We have signed a contract with an organization called Rezial and Safaricom where teachers are going to access 4,000 courses using Bonga Points. Please visit our website. Again, I'll repeat www.kewater.co.ke. You will get a master's degree, uh, 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 you know, an undergraduate degree, certificate, diploma, and all these courses are provided by 140 universities, which are under Harvard University. We also have positions for uh, scholarships. We have uh, two positions for full scholarship mm -hmm. and two for a partial scholarship for women who can go and study abroad. The applications will be online. Right. Please come on board. And I'm inviting all the women teachers to join this organization. All right. It's really meant for you. Okay, I'll have you end it there. And you, you will close it for us. We don't have too much time. But going forward, uh, because then let's give solutions and um, see how we move forward with this. Moving forward, how do we safeguard the interests of teachers? How do we better their relations and their welfare in general? Thank you very much, Akisa. I think uh, moving forward, I would want to say that uh, the unions, particularly the leadership of the unions, must be very responsive to the issues and needs of teachers. Number two, I think the unions, looking at the comments and the feedback that uh, are, are coming from the ground, they seem to be calling for some level of accountability. We need accountable leadership in the unions. 
And lastly, uh, the other thing that I think we need to do is to make sure that uh, when we organize elections, we should be able to organize very fair and open elections uh, so that those elected are able to uh, be supported by the teachers but also represent their needs. The other thing that we also need to do is to make sure that uh, we consult regularly so that when we, we negotiate with TSE as, as, as unions or government, the, the issues are actually member driven. So regular consultations are very important so that teachers, issues that affect teachers are brought to the table. And I think lastly, we need also to make use of the existing policy uh, forums or the existing avenues that we can be able to, uh, to, to, to explore to address the issues of teachers. Like, uh, I like the, the, the idea that Mboko has used his uh, uh, position in parliament to be able to push for this agenda of, of reforming or, or increasing the budget for the insurance. We okay. need to use all these avenues and be able to also work with others. Lastly, I want to ask uh, Bwana Mboko, there's nothing that stops you my, my brother, from calling Socion, sitting down and caucusing to be able to work together for the interest and the benefit of teachers as you negotiate with the TSC, right. unless he refuses to come mm -hmm. to talk to you. <laughs> Hopefully he will not, but I'll give you Mboko 30 seconds. We really need to, uh, because that's also a question that came up. What stops these unions from forming a formidable force and being an all-powerful um, outfit or various outfits but all powerful in the old way um, because there, there is togetherness. Uh, thank you. We have actually worked very closely with that. In fact, the alibi that we are not working together is wrong. Both the CBS that we have, we signed together and we agreed. We have meetings before the CBS are signed and we shall continue moving that. But what is important to solve the elephant in the house, which is the nut dwindling, is that let not uh, surrender some of the court orders it has. TSC surrender the court orders it has. They go to table. They have a triple tight, negotiate and agree how to move forward. In union issues is negotiation and not court issues. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's how we wrap it up. And uh, I couldn't possibly read all your comments and questions. Seemingly a lot of teachers tuned in for this conversation. Thank you for joining us here on the front row. Our guest tonight, Mboko Melemba, Member of Parliament, Muhaya, a National Chairperson of the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, Benta Kenyo Opande, the CEO of the Kenya Women um, uh, Teachers Association, thank you very much, as well as Andiwa Pondo, an education policy expert. As we wrap up, let's just take a look at uh, one or two final uh, comments. Uh, Zain is saying that I'm a teacher and a member of Kewata. It's an association, not a union. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we also have a final one. A lot of uh, repetitive. Where is our risk allowances? That is Kaka Chris. Kids coming without masks and water, you send them for one. Uh, your name and your school is all over the media. And finally, Montes on Twitter says, What finished not? Is that ruling by Justice Barham? that ordered NAT members to remain under SOS. They thought it was a win, but in real sense, it was the start of its downfall. And I should mention, we really made efforts to try and have NAT as part of this conversation tonight for it to be a holistic conversation. Our requests were declined by NAT, but of course, thank you for joining us. That's how we wrap it up here. I am Akisa Wandera. I'll be seeing you next Tuesday with another conversation here on the front row. Thank you for joining us. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing.